Okay, hello dear friends. Good morning. Such a beautiful, beautiful morning. Now I do not think I need these glasses. And uh, I will take this opportunity to share with you some of my thoughts. And this one I will do it in English and uh, so that you can understand what I am trying to say. And I use this as uh, a way to organize my thought. So I want to learn French and I need to learn French. I mean, I learned to, I need to improve my French. So I am thinking how I can do it in a short time. And from time to time, I receive friends' uh, comments and the suggestion how to learn uh, another language, to learn Chinese, to learn French. So I also listen to some podcasts, listen to some um, audiobooks. And uh, one of the self-motivation before it is getting uh, poisonous, <laughs> I will explain you why I say the motivational talk is poisonous. Okay, motivational talk, when you use it right, with the right amount, it is good. It gets you started. But if you overuse it, you become living under pressure. You become living always motivated, always pumped up, always uh, desire, always expecting, always ambition, always uh, under stress. And uh, it is not, not very healthy. So from time to time you get it and the other time you need some demotivational talk something to get you fall asleep. I am pretty good at making these demotivational talks. <laughs> and um, and um, it, is, uh, it is actually good to have a balance. After some time, you calm down yourself and into an even stage and there is a time you know that you need to pop up, you need to motivate yourself and get ready to something new, to something uh, more exciting. That is the moment and this is the moment for me also. One of the motivational tip is to speak out. You put yourself into a situation that you have no room to go back. This is what I am doing for this particular time. I want to learn French. I want to improve your French. And I speak it loud and speak in front of 80,000 people, my subscribers. Usually my video get a few hundred views. So a few hundred people will be my I witness to see how I do it and uh, and I have no room to 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 escape whether I take the shame of not improving of giving up or I do my best to push myself it's only for a short time so I think I am ready to do it and I am telling you in front of your face that I want to improve my French in a short time. Okay, so the first, first checkpoint I want. Okay, the second point is how. How I improve my French which is the same as a lot of people, how to learn something new, how to improve something new. For language, there are something that uh, I think is more powerful or more resultful or more, uh, more effective, efficient. 
you learn something totally new. There is no your comfort zone. It does not. It's not very effective. It's not the best way, because your neural network is nothing connected. You are totally going to a new territory. You learn another language. You learn the grammar. You learn the pronunciation. You know. You learn the phonology. You learn the logic, and you learn the rationale of another language, which is totally new. And you cannot find something that you can connect. If we know, this is not even a study. There are a lot of study about it, but from my true experience, there is not even there is not even a need to have a study to prove it. Something you know, you build on, you scaffolding, you go from your comfort zone to a new territory, step by step, is always better. Because your neural network or your brain is already having things, so you have a base to land on, and from there you can learn and learn be better. You take a textbook; the textbook is nothing to do with you. It's the textbook by the teacher, by the textbook writer, or by another book writer. It's his life. Her life is not your life. I want to do something. I want to learn something. Then I learn my way. How do I learn my way? I know what I want. I know what I am good at, and I pick up everything else as a resource to feed in me. So I am the initiator. I am active. In this learning process, not passive. I am negative. Neg. I am. <laughs> I am the initiator. I move the wheel. I move the things. For example, what I am planning is, I will talk about things that、uh, I know. I know very deep in in my sense. In in my blood, tea is in my blood, and、uh, oh, tea is in my blood. That's quite poisonous, isn't it? How can you get tea into your blood? No, no, no. Tea is in my sense. Is in my <laughs> in my way. No, you know what I'm talking about. So I can talk about tea. I can talk about food. Chinese food, French food, all the food I like does not need to be any boundary, nation, national boundary, and I can talk about painting. And actually, I am particularly starting from painting watercolor and things. I know it. I put my hand on it, and I know exactly what that. Exact word in Chinese. What that exact word in English, and I know roughly what that word might be in French. And then I can search on translator, online translator, and the dictionary, and um, and uh, improve and play around with dictionary. Play around with dictionary is also a very good, very interesting way, because you know roughly what it is, and it brings the synonyms.、Um, it brings a lot of、uh, extension of of that word. It、uh, improves and、uh, improves your understanding of it, and、uh, by giving you a ballpark.、Um, A ballpark ground or or reservoir of uh, of uh, of uh, vocabulary, you can find it even、uh, even you can have your own freedom to choose that particular word word that just、uh, perfect for your for your situation. Okay, so first I want to learn the second. 
how I learn. I learn from what I know. I learn from expressing myself. The third is your part. How you can improve me. And uh, I am making video does not, this is a all free video. You have to pay me. You have to pay me by uh, correcting me, by uh, recommending me, by uh, seeing, finding some words and finding some beautiful way. For now, I do not need uh, a solid street language. I, I, I need something that you can talk, you can talk um, in front of people, in front of uh, younger people, in front of uh, in a in a more or less formal situation, educational situation, and not some words that is so too colloquial that uh, I do not even know the sense and speak it out. You know, I have heard some other people saying Chinese that because they do not know, do not have the sense of the language, sometimes they say words which is not appropriate for a particular situation. So I want to, to have some more or less formal or could be fun, could be higolo, could be interesting, but uh, in a in a good, nice, elegant, and formal way. Anyway, that's uh, about it. I will continue with French for this video. Maybe I will make another video.